Welcome to the Sports Circus. I'm your ringmaster, Cell, live from Las Vegas in the Amp TV mobile studio. That's double AMP TV. Today's show is brought to you by Legal Shield, providing legal protection and peace of mind. Legal Shield can help with traffic tickets, texting and driving, DUIs, court appearances, estate planning, even contracts given to people they don't understand, plus a whole lot more. For more information, contact Legal Shield at 213-245-1305. That's 213-245-1305. Again, 213-245-1305. Or visit online for more information at nocourt.us. That's www.nocourt.us. All right, a big welcome in to everybody listening right here in Las Vegas on Magic 97.9 FM. And, of course, our CBS, NBC, and Fox Sports affiliates from coast to coast, also including our friends over in Los Angeles on NBC News and CNBC Financial and everywhere else streaming on Facebook, on YouTube. We'll get to that in a minute. Also watching on Comcast, Cox, Spectrum, Frontier, and Wow Cable, and in hotels from coast to coast in over a half a million rooms. We are joined by a couple of very special guests. As a matter of fact, let's just let them introduce themselves. Go ahead, Mitch. Hey, I'm Mitch Malloy. I'm the lead singer of Great White, and I have been now for three years. And we're here to talk about the Van Halen Experience show. All right. That's good stuff. And by the way, in case you're wondering, yes, we have yet another guest. And I just have him as guitar superstar. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Go ahead and introduce yourself. We talked about that earlier, didn't we? I said, I'm a, I'm a working musician now for the last, uh, I don't know, 30 years or something. But anyway, hey, I'm Pete Thorne. And I'm a, uh, I'm a I guess, a legendary guitar nerd. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy. Like That's the guy. <laughs> Notice that guitar that he's holding, by the way, too. That's pretty yeah. cool. For everybody, in case you've been living under a rock, tell everybody about that guitar. This guitar... Is a replica of the Eddie Van Halen Frankenstein guitar that he created because uh, he, was, he was a little bit of a genius. So he made his he basically had to make his own guitar around 1976, 77, something like that, because no guitars off the shelf would do what he wanted them to do. And uh, so what you're seeing is a pretty accurate replica. Uh, and uh, the nice folks at EVH Gear, they make these. And that, that was Eddie's company. And uh, it's now Wolfgang's company. And uh, it's just a really, a really great guitar, especially for playing some, some cool Van Halen licks on. That's great stuff. And Mitch, I think you know a little bit about Van Halen, but Mitch, you have this ridiculous background on a stage. I mean, from writing songs to singing them, you play, you play guitar, you play other instruments. So you're sort of a musical genius yourself, but you've been around the block. Certainly you've been around for how many years, how many decades you've been doing this this is exciting. Give everybody kind of a quick rundown of what you've been doing for the last, oh, I don't know, 30 or 40 years. <laughs> yeah. How many years is it now? It's going to be a long rundown. <laughs> right. Well, uh, we're going to commercial break. We'll be back in just a minute here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I, I got my start really in, in 1992 when my debut record came out called Mitch Malloy on RCA BMG Worldwide. And I had a couple of hits, few, the three hits off of that. And that kind of got things going. And then I shifted gears, uh, moved to Nashville and uh, had a studio there, was producing and mixing and uh, writing. I was a paid songwriter for uh, Chrysalis Music there. I'd been, a, I'd been a staff songwriter for Warner Chapel before that. So yeah, just covering all aspects of all things music and just doing it all basically, yeah. And, uh, and still touring a little bit uh, solo, you know, as Mitch Malloy, uh, doing some things in Europe and things like that. And, um, and yeah, I had a, a Van Halen experience in uh, 96 where I was flown out and uh, Eddie on the third day told me, congratulations, you're in the band. And we wrote together and we, uh, we all uh, recorded together live at 5150 and, and Ed and I became really close and, that all didn't work out, as as everybody knows. People are kind of scratching their head, going, "You were in Van Halen, you know." Um, so yeah, that didn't work out, and um, but we stayed friends, and and uh, you know, now that he's gone, it's really sad, a sad thing. But that kind of brings me to the present present moment. Um, we're going to be doing a a uh, Van Halen experience show in Destin, Florida, on October 9th. and Pete Thorne. You know, I think part of the reason that I, why I really wanted to do this was because I heard Pete Thorne 
make a video about Ed's tone. And I literally, and this is after Ed died, I literally cried when I heard him play because it sounded so much like Ed. I just, I couldn't help myself. And that's when the wheels started turning. Like maybe I should do like a celebration show, celebrate Ed's music. And if Pete will do it, then, then I'll do it kind of thing, you know? So that's kind of brings, brings us up to the present moment. That's good stuff. So Pete, before we get, so I have a, I have a question for you. I just want to welcome everybody back that's tuning in on hotel TV and watching uh, literally in a half a million plus rooms from coast to coast. Also everybody else on our CBS, NBC and Fox sports affiliates from coast to coast here with Mitch Malloy and also with Pete Thorne. If you don't know who they are, you better Google them, go to the sports hit the links and you can read all about them. Cause there's a lot of data there, but these guys are really, really, really good in the music world. And by the way, Mitch, you are, a guy that has more here that I've ever grown in my entire life <laughs> at one point. I mean, it's, it's absurd. I, I'm remarkably jealous. <laughs> and, you know, Pete, I don't know if you have those kind of locks or you've ever had that, but I got to tell you, that's one of those things that a lot of guys, you know, the, the old hair club for men, right? right. Mitch has more here than a family of five. It's just yes. absolute <laughs> lunacy. <laughs> I am. I'm vastly hated for my hair. Yes. I see that. I see that. So, Pete, when it comes to playing, I mean, look, what people now I watched your videos. I mean, look, I'm a horrific guitar player. I mean, I am as bad as they possibly get. I do everything wrong. Everybody who knows me, they leave the building whenever I pick a guitar up. It's that bad. But (laughs) you, with all this mad experience, of course, you're going to give people a little bit of rundown about this. But you're also a teacher now on your page alone. This is crazy. It's not that you, you don't have 61 videos. You have 61 pages of videos. That is complete and utter lunacy. (laughs) Well, YouTube became a big part of what I do a number of years ago. Uh, It was probably around 2007 or so that I started the channel. And all of a sudden there was this kind of, it's like the wild west. There's this thing where you can reach everybody all the way around the world. And actually one of the first things that I put up on YouTube, because I'm like, well, I'll start a YouTube channel. Everybody's doing it. I don't know what I'll do. I got a guitar player. I guess I'll show some guitar stuff. And I thought, what if I put together a a lesson on how to play Eruption, which is of course Eddie Van Halen's, you know, kind of classic piece, that amazing guitar solo that he did on the first album that really blew everyone's minds. So I put that out there and um, didn't quite, you know, think much of it. I just filmed it on my home computer, like literally on the camera on a 2006 iMac, you know, that's how I filmed it. And, uh, and I put it out there in the world. And before YouTube and all that, I was making my living primarily as a uh, touring guitar player for different people and, and, and still love to do that and whatnot. But anyways, I was out on tour with Chris Cornell because I played in his band for a number of years. And we were in Lisbon, Portugal. And this is about a year after I put out that how to play eruption video. And a guy came up to me on the street and he poked me in the chest. He walked right up to me and he poked me in the chest. And he goes, you taught me how to play eruption. Uh-huh. <laughs> and my mind was blown because here yeah. was this thing that I literally filmed on my, you know, home computer that like, I, there was no company involved. There was no like what, it was just something that I did and put out there in the world. And it somehow was able to reach this guy halfway around the world. And that just blew my mind. And it, oh, the, the, you know, the world really opened up for me at that point when I thought this is the sky's the limit. Like, I don't, need anybody to tell me like that something's good enough or that I'm, I look cool enough or that, you know what I mean? There's no middleman, just me and the folks out there in the world. And that, and so the YouTube really became that for me. And so I just kind of expanded into, you know, making more lesson videos and stuff, but it became a lot about also uh, working with different companies that make guitar equipment and presenting what they're coming up with to the world. Here's this great new pedal or here's this great new, you know, guitar or whatever it would be. And I'd make videos about it and the channel grew and grew and grew. And it's just become more, uh, more and more what I do. Um, and, and it's been a, like really brilliant for me, actually. Uh, I just can't thank YouTube enough for <laughs> you know, giving Pete, me this um, vehicle to reach. You know? the, the crazy thing folks about this is that, look, people say, oh, I've got a new video out on YouTube or whatever. It is normally like three, four, five, ten minutes, maybe. Oh, no. His are like two hours. <laughs> and it's so detailed. So it's good. Kind of an encyclopedia. It's like he's opening up his head. Yeah. 
and you've got just scores and scores of data. It's un- like when you walk into a, a lawyer's office, just, there's a law library behind him, whatever. That's right. what this guy's brain is. When you listen, you're like, he's still going and it's two hours and 20 minutes into it. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I'm not hyping it. I watched it. No, it's, he's the best. He's lunacy, he's the maybe. best. Yeah, he's the best. <laughs> oh, thank you, guys. I mean, it blows my mind, too. But this is how Mitch and I are connected because you get to, you know, you realize that there's folks that are interested in something that you're really passionate about that then they can be all over the world, but you meet your little tribe of people. And it could be, you know, I always encourage people like if you're great at working on cars, if you're a great cook, you know, whatever it is, like make some videos and put them out there because you're going to meet other folks that are, you know, you're going to get traction with it if it's something unique. And if you're really passionate about it and you've got that direct connection with the world. So it's really fun. Yeah, we're going to come back. We've got so much more to talk about. We are here with the great Mitch Malloy. And he is, of course, he's the front man for Great White, but this guy's got some mad skills on his own as a touring, and he's got a, a Van Halen experience. You have to check that out. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. Also, we hear with Pete Thorne. Folks, don't go anywhere. Lots more to come here on The Circus. Back in a few.
Welcome back to the Sports Circus. I'm your remaster cell live from Las Vegas in the AMP TV mobile studio. That's double AMP TV. Make sure you check us out there every day. There's always some great content and there's some live content too. We've got a lot more shows coming. Don't go anywhere on that one. All right, a big welcome back to everybody listening in on our CBS, NBC, and Fox Sports affiliates from coast to coast. Magic 97.9 FM right here in Las Vegas. Pick a little of our friends over in Hawaii on the New York Yankees, San Francisco 49ers, and Alabama Crimson Tide Radio Network in Los Angeles. KCAA, our NBC News and CNBC Financial. Down in South Texas on CBS Sports, Corpus Christi, 95, 196, 1, and 1230 AM, home of the Houston Texans, the Houston Astros, and the Houston Rockets. Over in Faraday, Louisiana, Natchez, Mississippi, 107.1 The River, Mid-South Broadcasting. Also home of the Atlanta Braves, that's WAUD in Auburn, Alabama, and WDJY in Atlanta. Thanks for everybody else joining us, whether you're streaming, whether you're watching on Comcast, Cox Spectrum Frontier, Wow Cable, Hotels. We're back with Mitch Malloy, frontman for Great White, and also... Mitch Malloy is one hell of a singer. He's got solo projects, and he also has the Van Halen experience. We started to hear a little bit about that in the last segment, and also hear with Pete Thorne, who just happens to be a guitar superhero. He's one of those guys, right? So you can see him on a screen right now, and he's got that very famous-looking guitar. Maybe he'll play a little something for us somewhere along the way. There it is. And by the way, from a musical standpoint, yes, this is a sports show. So we always hear music, guys. Look, we heard music that that you play, you create, whatever. We heard it in big stadiums, whether it's TV timeout, whether it's in between innings at a baseball game, in between quarters at a football game, at a basketball game, could be halftime, whatever. But we hear stadium music. Let me ask you guys. I'm going to start with you, Mitch. So, Mitch, when you're at a, a game, whenever you're not touring, which seems to be 365 days a year, when you're at a game and if you hear music that you sing and people like, hey, that's the guy. That's the guy who sings that music. Do you give him a wave or do you kind of hide under the chair? Or do you kind of go to the restroom or whatever to kind of get away? What do you do when the music that you sing comes on to the big loudspeakers everywhere? Uh, yeah, sometimes wave. Um, you know, I. I used to go to a lot of games. I used to go to a lot of Vanderbilt basketball games. I had season tickets and I would generally go without the hair. Like I would tuck the hair in and like, you know, wear a hat or whatever. But a couple of times I went with the hair out. It was a whole different experience with the hair out. Right. <laughs> it's like people are like, hey, you know, but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I just it's always just flattering to be noticed or acknowledged or, you know. I'm just, I'm just a guy, you know, just, I mean, when somebody acknowledges something that you do, you, you know, you're flattered. It's, it's cool. But at the same time, look, when, when you're at a place when, look, the music is, is being played overhead, it's, it's in this big stadium, whatever it is. Do you tend to look away or whatever, or do you tend to, do you tend to like leave that area, maybe go to the restroom or something? If, if a lot of people are like, Hey, that's the guy. Or do you just soak it up and say, I like that. Yeah. You just polite and just acknowledge it and say, hi, you know, I mean, I like yeah, I like that. Now, Pete, what about you on this case? So here you're playing, you know, with some of the greatest musicians of all time. Right. And it's like, Holy crap. There's that music. Now, do people recognize you or do you just kind of pull the guitar out from behind you and start playing it? They're like, hey, that's the guy. <laughs> well, for me, <clears throat> that story I told you uh, at the beginning there, that was really the first time that somebody came up to me and they knew me for a thing that I've done, you know, and that was like you, the power of YouTube. So it's kind of the world's changing because like it's um it's a little different now than it used to be people used to be like hey are you that guy that plays guitar with chris cornell and Melissa etheridge or did i see you at a show you know and now it's a little bit more about the you know the stuff that you can put out there yourself via youtube and instagram and stuff like that but uh, you know it, it's funny you're, you're drawing the parallel between sports and music and stuff I man i grew up in edmonton 
uh, Canada, which is, you know, hockey. Oh, yeah. and, and I grew up during the Oilers uh, dynasty. And, and, you know, my dad would take me to the games and we had season tickets, you know, to go see all that in the great, you know, Gretzky and Mark Messier and all those guys. And then that's the same building where I saw every concert, including Van Halen, you know, in 1984 to her like, growing up. So that building that uh, it was Northlands Coliseum, there's a lot of, I got a lot of history there, both sports and music, you know, and it's just, it's, there's this parallel there. So. We had another. We had another pretty popular Canadian guy in here. He's he's a friend of the show, and actually, his I want to say it's his it's, it's his cousin is a he's one of the coaches for my beloved Chicago Blackhawks. I'm from Chicago, right? So I live and die with the Hawks, and that's Todd Kearns, right? Todd's playing with Slash and Miles Kennedy. I know and Todd very well. I know Todd Todd's very a great well. Great guy. He was so much fun on here. Uh, we went to go see him here in town. Of course, he's with the Rating the Rock Vault show, right? He'll do that yeah, when he's yeah. here in town with Paul Shortino and the rest of the guys. And Todd, uh, Todd, of course, you know, being one of those guys, he's a mad guitarist like yourself. He's got these incredible pipes. And again, oh, Todd God. has he has Mitch's caliber of hair. But I think Mitch, I think your hair is a little <laughs> thicker. But just super talents come out of Canada. What is it with music Canada? Hey, let's not forget Rush, right? Absolutely, man. It, you know what it is? I always say it's cold up there. And so you got to stay inside. So you work on playing guitar or whatever, because you can't go outside. It's too damn cold. I mean, you might go out to play some hockey, <laughs> right. or, but that's it. So, but yeah, right. Todd's man. I saw Todd play with his band Age of Electric in 1989 in Edmonton. And I remember him from then, you know. And then uh, recently we actually did a show together. He plays with a, a great band called Took and their Canadian cover, Canadian rock, only Canadian rock cover band. And they needed a guitar player wow. for one for one gig. Yeah. And they're great. They're really great. So I went to Winnipeg and did a show with them. And it couldn't have been a more Canadian quintessential rock and roll Winnipeg, all Canadian music with Todd and all these great guys. So it was uh, it was a blast. But yeah, he's a, he's a hell of a guy. Really great musician. It's, it's a super nice guy. Oh, by the way, isn't this being streamed on your YouTube channel as well? We've got to make sure we give a plug. What is how do people follow you, by the way, Pete, on YouTube? I actually shared the link on my YouTube, so it's not streaming on there. They're linking to you guys. But uh, my YouTube is just youtube.com slash Pete Thorne. You can find me there. Okay. And, of course, as we continue on, obviously, Mitch Malloy, MitchMalloy.com. That's pretty simple, right? And I want to I want to know a little bit more about the event that you're going to have, of course, the Van Halen Experience. And that's going to be on October 9th at 5.30 to 10 p.m. at the Maddie Kelly Arts Foundation, 4323 Commons Drive in Destin, Florida, probably one of my favorite places in this country. Got to tell you, one of my favorite places all time. A great place. So, Mitch, give us a quick rundown of what is going to happen in that show about the experience itself. Give everybody the, the one minute on what the format is going to be. Okay, well, first of all, I wanted it to be very authentic, you know, very authentically Van Halen. So we're bringing in a big, big production, you know, so it's going to be fun to look at and really fun to listen to great, big, huge sound system, big light show and all that, you know, because I mean, you know, if it's really Van Halen, it's got to be big, right? Seems like it's, it, you know, that, that was one base we, we really had to cover. So and, and then the musicianship, I mean, you know, I could go on and on about Pete, um, just how good he is and how great he plays Ed. And then the other guys in the band, Dan Spreewald is, uh, plays with Phil X. Dan is also a Canadian and so is Phil X. Phil X is the guitar player for Bon Jovi and they have a band called Phil X and the Drills. So Dan is a great bass player, great uh, background singer, singer. And uh, on drums, funny you mentioned Rush, because my drummer, Wayne Killius, he uh, won the Neil Peart drum contest in 1987. He, there was a worldwide contest judged by Neil, and uh, Wayne won that contest, and he won Neil's actual drum set that he recorded, wow. that he recorded and toured two albums with. Wow. Yeah. So, so it certainly Wayne, deserves Wayne, a round of applause. Yeah. So Wayne is uh, no slouch. He also is a session guy and he's played on tons of lots of number one hits. And, you know, that's what he does all day. He plays on records. So the band is 
absolutely fantastic, quite possibly the best band I've ever been part of. And so that, that the music should be just absolutely explosive. So really excited about that. Yeah. Wow. Let's see if maybe, you know, Pete, you've got that guitar. You've been holding that guitar for a little bit in our last 30 seconds. Can you give us just a little bit of flavor? It's not plugged in. But it's not plugged in. <laughs> we got to play some band hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You I need wish an amp. You're missing it. Yeah. Oh, that, that's good stuff. Yeah. It's, you know, but then again, folks, this technology, we don't have we don't have a place where we can kind of gather in one room and play in one room and be in, yeah. I don't know, three different rooms. It's, it's lunacy, but this is good stuff, folks. Make sure you stay tuned in. We're going to take a break for just a couple of minutes. Be back here with Mitch Malloy, MitchMalloy.com. Check him out. And of course, Pete Thorne with his 227,000 followers on YouTube. Make sure you find him there. Back here in a few minutes on the circus. Don't go anywhere. I'm your ringmaster, Sal, of the Sports Circus. Join me and Hall of Fame world champion and all-star celebrity guest for chaos and controversy here on Lipson and all podcast platforms. Also, thesportscircus.com. Remember, folks, it's a circus and we prove it every day. Do you know someone with a drug or alcohol problem? Get help right now. Insurance may cover everything. Stop the drug and alcohol nightmare. Are drug and alcohol problems hitting you too close to home? Get help right now. Insurance may cover everything. 800-831-1560. 800-831-1560. 800-831-1560.
Welcome back to the Sports Circus. I'm your remaster Sal, live from Las Vegas in the AMP TV mobile studio. That's AAMP TV. This segment brought to you in part by, let's say, by the Van Halen Experience by Mitch Malloy. Yes! Yes! As a matter of fact, to tell you all about the Van Halen Experience is Mitch Malloy. Tell everybody, Mitch. Well, the Van Halen Experience is a brand new thing. That I'm doing October 9th. Maddie Kelly is the venue in Destin, Florida. October 9th with the great Pete Thorne on guitar, Dan Spreewald on, on bass, and Wayne Killius on drums. <coughs> That's great stuff. Oh, and Pete will be playing way, that folks. guitar. You're right. Playing that guitar. <laughs> by the way, it, here's, what, here's what I dig about this, Mitch, is that... A portion of the proceeds will go to the music program yeah. at Destin High School and yeah. the Maddie Kelly Arts Foundation. An astounding round of applause. Right. And so so that piece is really important because, you know, Ed, this is a this is a celebration of Eddie Van Halen. What that's that's really the spirit of this night. This is why we're doing this. And Eddie's uh Kind of charity of choice was uh, Mr. Holland's Opus, which was all about music, music for the schools. So Destin High School is brand new just this year. So they're just getting started and they need help. So I thought, you know, in the spirit of Ed, why not help out Destin High School? And Destin High School is right next to the Maddie Kelly venue. So <laughs> it's like they're neighbors. So, you know, it just made a lot of sense. And um but uh, yeah, so so getting back to Pete's guitar, that orig- so the original guitar, so that guitar is modeled after the original Frankenstein, right? Eddie, Eddie's guitar that he invented. And I actually got to play that guitar and I bet Pete did too. Yeah? You know, I was too, uh, so going to 5150, you know, the times yeah. I was up there, I was too shy to actually ask if I, but I was once handed it because they made reproductions of it, right? So I was never yeah. sure because they were so perfect. The ones yeah. that they made back around True. 2007, they came up with this run and I was, yeah. I wasn't like, is this the actual one? I didn't know, but I was <laughs> this right hand okay. guy, Matt Brock. I think it might've been one of the reproductions, but I like to think it was the original one, you know, what, so what did it play like? Did you enjoy it? You- it, it was horrible actually. like i was like he handed it to me and i was like and i looked at him like and he goes yeah yeah that's it and i was like (laughs) okay and so i started playing it and i was like you know this is so hard to play it was (laughs) the action was so high and it was and i'm not like a wuss on guitars like i don't have that like you know really low action i like it I'm mostly a rhythm player, so I like a little bit of a higher action. But that action was just like, Ugh. and and you know, like Ed is like a god, and I'm like in his studio, and you know, in the band, whatever, you know. And I'm just like, I couldn't go. This is crap. I mean, you know, right. it was like the most iconic rock guitar ever in the history of the world. That's and nuts. Course, that's like walking, Mitch. That's you know, like walking like into it. Yankee Stadium. <laughs> And having your I, first at bat with the bases loaded and you're using the baseball bat of Babe Ruth or something crazy like that. It, yeah. And, and you and you go, <laughs> you know, like, what is that? Like, I'm sort of embarrassed to even tell that story. But but yeah, it's a funny story. That's a great story. Yeah. All right, Pete. I want to hear a little something out of that guitar. Man, you're holding that <laughs> guitar, and I got to tell he's you. He's not plugged he in here. I know he's he can't not. hear it. Stop <laughs> you didn't guitar. tell me you wanted me to plug in. I would have brought an amp in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, go get one. I'll hold I'm on. Sure. It's okay. We've got a few minutes left of the show. But really, it's okay. But anyway, I mean, look, just to be able to play with that guitar, it's complete and utter lunacy. People wouldn't even understand what that is because all they see is, for example, the video where they see it on stage and you'll see Ed doing these crazy things with his guitar, whatever the hell he does. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to play. Not like that. I mean, I wreck everyone's music. That's a whole other story. But the point is it's using, it's not only just the equipment, but it's the holy crap equipment, right? You hear the chorus singing, Right when you pick it up, you're like, wow. Yeah. 
Wow, what yeah. an experience. Yeah. Well, and you haven't played thing. anything, and you're holding it, and you can hear the chorus. Yeah, that's the thing. This guitar is just, you know what? I, I got one of these a little while ago, and some other friends of mine that are huge fans, they've also gotten them, you know? And I'm like, doesn't that guitar just make you smile every time you see it? You know, you look at it and walk in the room, you just like, it just makes me happy because yeah. this is a seeing this thing was a part yeah. of my youth. Like, yep, yep, right. Yep. right. Oh, by the way, hold, hold that thought, B. We want to welcome back everybody listening in on our CBS, NBC, and Fox Sports affiliates from Coast Coast, and everybody watching on hotel television from Coast to Coast as well. Believe me, folks, we're everywhere. We're in, I think it's about 210 markets, they're Nielsen rated markets, Woo! a lot of people. Wow. And think about this from an impression standpoint. We know about impressions, how that works. Imagine well over 4 million impressions per hour. Wow. Every day. And it's not like watching a sporting event where maybe on television, they'll have that for just a couple of hours and that's it. Oh, no, no. We're around the clock and that's what we get. It's complete madness and mayhem. So sorry, Pete, as you were saying. I should have shaved before I came on here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, look at well, it. Yeah, I got the same problems. I fit right in. Yes. <laughs> You're a rock star. Yes. <laughs> That's right. That's right. My fault. Yeah. But can, no, go ahead, Pete. Go, go, go. Oh, I was just going to, you know, the spirit of this thing is like, it, you know, like you see it, you know what you want to play on it. You want to pick it up and play Mean Streets, Beautiful Girls, and all these great Van Halen songs. You know, you want to hop for teacher and just like have fun. Because it's, um, it's you just look at it and it's like, okay, it's, it's Van Halen time. <laughs> so it's so much fun, you know. Uh, but guitar for me, I, mean, God, I remember getting my first guitar and just looking at it from every angle, like you know, how beautiful it was to me, you know, like all the different. And this this guitar, I mean, this, this you know, the original, this is a replica of the original. And it was like, I, I, I don't know how, but, I mean, I've been looking at, at that guitar for, you know, better part of 40 years, you know, and it's yeah. just a part of me. Like, it's a piece yeah. of art is what it is. It's not just a guitar, you know, the, what he came up with. It was the spirit of innovation, too, that where he... Um, he couldn't get a guitar off the shelf that he was happy with. So he bolted something together and made it work. And they really have replicated that. And, you know, it's a working tool, really. And actually, Mitch's story about playing the original one and it being kind of like, you know, it was a, a nightmare to play and really difficult. That really speaks to his, like, the tone is in the hands kind of thing. Like, his brilliance yeah. and ideas. Eddie Van Halen's brilliance and ideas. Yeah. You know, like, it, he he made a guitar, bolted it together, and, and did, did with it what, you know, I mean, he created history, musical history. So, you know what? The, the one the parallel game, that I, I, the one parallel the, that I, one, one, one second, Mitch, the one parallel that I could draw to this, so some people are highly, highly specialized. Like Eddie was, you know, obviously Eddie's Eddie, right? Guitar God. Yep. But look, I would take this in, in a little bit sideways direction only for a second here, because when you take some of the greats of whatever their craft is, and I'll go to architecture. Yes, I'm going to architecture. Who do? It's a circus and we prove it every day. But there was a guy by the name of Frank Lloyd Wright. A lot of people know his, his incredible buildings. Yeah. Well, what Frank did, and I grew up in his home in the hometown where his studio was. I walked by it every day on my way to grade school. And all wow. of his, all of, it's phenomenal. All of his, it's Oak Park, Illinois, by the way. So all of his doorways, when you walk in, they're all short. So in other words, a lot of people actually had to duck their heads to walk into the houses. A lot of people don't know that. But he, and it was because of the way he designed it for himself, a little bit of egocentric, but kind of a strange thing, because when you're so good at it, you don't even think about anything else. You're like trying to be as efficient as possible. But boy, the Frank Lloyd Wright houses were phenomenal. But we think about the Eddie Van Halen guitar, like Mitch, you said you, it was a, a little bit different for you to play it. And I interrupted you. So please continue. No, so what I was going to say were a couple of things. Um, but then, you know, when I, I played his Wolfgang, when he was on tour, I went to see him and he was playing the, the, his latest guitar, which is, you know, what he kind of ended on. Um, and I played that guitar and I was expecting when he handed it, he actually handed it to me and asked me to warm it up. It was a, it was a really interesting day. I spent the whole day with him and... Um, he yeah he go, he goes he kind of put it on me and he goes he goes and i just looked at him like you know he, he goes i need you to warm it up for me warm it up he, he goes i got some other stuff i got to do so i was i was expecting to hate it you know because i didn't like the frankie right so but it was really nice it was like a whole different kind of thing like he had obviously 
tweaked and tweaked and tweaked and tweaked and taken it to another place. And I was, I was actually kind of astounded at how different it was and uh, how easy to play it was and how great it was. And that, just talking about that moment in time, he actually, he was having problems with his finger and his finger was bleeding. And he had me super glue his finger together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, before, right before the show, right before the show. So he hands me the super glue and sticks his finger out and I'm looking at him like, and he goes, he goes, yeah, I just, I need you to do this. And like, it was like, you know, time crunch kind of like it was like getting to be showtime. So it was a little bit stressful. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm super gluing Eddie Van Halen's finger together. <laughs> no! That's, That's awesome. I drew this up, you know? <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. But, but I wanted to say, so I'll, I'll, that was an aside I didn't even intend to say. What I wanted to say was the attention to detail that Pete has with his amplification and his gear and all of this stuff, his expertise is really what brought us together because... His, he's basically playing through Ed's amp. I mean, for this show. Oh, we're done. Okay. All right. I'll tell you what, we're going to pick up on that story right when we come back from break here yeah. on the Sports Circus. Last one to come with Mitch Malloy and Pete Thorne. Don't go anywhere. Rock stars on the Sports Circus. I'm your ringmaster cell of the Sports Circus, a primetime nationally syndicated television, radio, sports, and entertainment show. The Sports Circus covers topics others are too scared to talk about. There's no other primetime show like it on here that'll punch you in the face and you'll beg for more. Join me, Hall of Famers, World Champions, and All-Star Celebrity Guests for Chaos and Controversy here on Lipson and all podcast platforms, plus thesportscircus.com. Remember, folks, it's a circus and we prove it every day.
Welcome back to the Sports Circus. I am Mitch Malloy, the lead singer of Great White. And I am here with my buddy Pete Thorne, who is a rock and roll star. One of the best guitar players on the planet, as far as I'm concerned. And the thing that really introduced me to Pete was his love of Eddie Van Halen and we something we share. And we both actually were friends with Eddie um, at you know different points. Um, and that really brought us together in a big way as well. But the but Pete's attention to detail, what he's going to be doing, we're going to be doing a show um, called Van Halen Experience in Destin, Florida, a venue called Maddie Kelly on October 9th. And we're going to be doing a big Van Halen show. And the thing with Pete, with Pete is he's so, um, what, discerning? Uh, his accuracy to Ed's tone literally made me weep when I heard him play. He did, he did a video on, a, on YouTube called Deep Dive. I think it's, what's it called? Uh, Eddie Van Halen Deep Dive? I think that's right. Yeah, that's what I called it. Yeah. 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 And uh, they, they, he and his buddy Dave Friedman, they, they, they just absolutely duplicated what Ed did. And it was remarkable how close they got. And so Pete knows what that is and he knows how to get it. And that's, that's something you're going to hear during the show. It's going to be his guitar tone. I just can't even wait. I can't wait, Pete. <laughs> so go ahead. Well, it's, go ahead. It's, it's like the, uh, the, the geek portion of me, you know, that I, I geek out on the gear and the tones and stuff. I guess, you know what, when you're, when you're um, growing up and you listen to people and, and the music turns you on, the sonic part of it is such a big part of it to me. Like, how did they get that sound? You know, and I was always on that yep. journey. Like, how does that happen? Then maybe you absorb some of that and put it into your own playing, your own songwriting when you, you know, you take away. But if you're going to play Van Halen to me, it's got to be right. Like you got to do it and go all the way and get the sound because the sound is a big part of it. It's kind of like being an actor. You got to put on the, you know, you got to put on the, the right clothes and, and the mannerisms and stuff and absorb it all. And then the music starts to come to life. more. You know, when you see a great, you know, somebody portraying somebody in a, in a movie or TV show or something, they really nail the role. That's kind of like that to me. Uh, and that, you know, the majority of my career has been uh, touring as a sideman. So like for Chris Cornell, I had to learn the parts of Kim Thale and, and Chris and uh, Tom Morello, these different great guitar players, Alan Johannes, you know, I had to learn and absorb those tones and those sounds. So I guess that's part of what I do, that vocabulary. And I do find it fun, find it rewarding when you get really close and, uh, and, and you, you're like, yeah, that's the, that's the spirit right there, you know? Well, yeah, and absolutely, you are an artist unto yourself. I mean, what you do, your own music is phenomenal and it's different. It's not Van Halen, it's you, you know? Sure. But you're also able to nail the Van Halen thing, which is just, you know, it's, it's great. It just shows you how great ears you have and the knowledge that you have with the gear, knowing exactly what it is. I mean, it's it's commendable, really. We, you too, man. I mean, stepping into the role, you know, of singer in Great White, you know, there's like a, uh, you, you got to put, you know, there's, there's there's a lot of you in there and your soul and stuff. And then you're also singing songs that people remember from, you know, from, from you know, great yeah. hit songs and stuff. So you got it, it like, it's, it's a combination of, of, you know, your own personality and then paying uh, homage to the the the, uh, the 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 songs and who originally recorded them and all that. So, yeah, you have to honor really honor the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mitch, let it. me ask you a question. Okay, so Mitch, for the Van Halen experience, obviously there's so many hits. How do you decide <laughs> which ones you're going to play? You know. Um, we're being maybe a little bit selfish with this show <laughs> because it's your playing, show. You could be selfish. It's okay. Yeah, we're, we're playing what we like. Yeah. I think Pete would agree with that. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. kind of put out, but I think Mitch, I, think I made a suggestion. Uh, I, th I think real fans, they want that too. You know, I mean, the coolest thing about some of the last tours that Van Halen I, I, did was playing some of those deep cuts, you know, and that's people love that stuff. I love it. Hey, Mitch, yeah. I got something for you, real quick. Yes, uh, because it's an, album, my... it's an album band, not a single band. It's let, an album me, band. That's right. right? Mitch, that's let, absolutely it. Let yeah, me say something it. real quick here, Mitch. This, this yeah. one's for this was for one of our viewers. 
who has, I've got a message from her. She says, I saw great white two weeks ago. It was the <laughs> first time I saw Mitch and he is amazing. Say hello real quick to Teresa Powers over at West Virginia. She, I know because I she had seen you. I was like, hey, what are you doing? Are you a hey, Mitch? Teresa. Hey, Teresa. How are you doing? Thank you for the nice, kind words. We appreciate it very much. All right. Nice round of applause. Thank you. I had to interrupt you for that just because you got to talk to yeah. everybody. All right. So, yeah, yeah. so the songs real quick. So the songs, you're playing what you like. If you give me, oh, are you going to play eight, 10, 12 songs? What, what is it typically for a set? 20 songs. 20 songs. Wow. Yeah. We're biting off quite a, quite a large, you know, yeah, it's, it's a big bite. Um, so we're doing, so I love mostly the first two albums. That's really what I kind of grew up on. That's my Van Halen, the first two albums. And then, of course, we're doing stuff off of 84, which is fantastic. Uh, we're doing Unchained. Um, what else, Pete? What am I missing? Well, it's, yeah, it's kind of the first two albums. It's heavy on those with at least like five or six tracks off of each of those. And then a couple songs off of, you know, there's some stuff from Women and Children first. There, you know, we've, t we've right. talked about, um, yeah, Fair Warning, at least a couple tracks off Fair Warning, a few tracks off 84. So it's, but it's really this, what, what the fans call the six pack, you know, focusing on the, uh, the, the, the first six albums and, and, uh, you know, heavily geared towards those first couple, which is great because I love that material. And to me, that's the, uh, it is kind of where it all began. It's those quintessential great, you know, uh, riffs and, and Dave's, they were just on fire. It was like fire out of the box, those first two records. And so we, we I, you're right, we're being self, this is a show, it's a celebration, you know, uh, uh, for, you know, in the spirit of Ed to, you know, uh, to honor him but also we're being really selfish just having some fun playing the music that we that originally turned us on right that's what what got us going doing yeah. this stuff but, so look guys there's a high probability that if you like it and you sing and play it something tells me the masses are going <laughs> to dig what you're putting out there anyways i gotta tell you I, me as a fan yeah, I would yeah. not be concerned whatsoever as the lineup my concern meter would be on zero because i know you're going to pick all the stuff i want to hear anyway it's yeah. funny that you said that, though, because uh, that's one of the things uh, that Ed said to me. He said, you know, he, you know, because we were talking about the future and the kind of music we were going to write for the future, the record we would write. And he said, you know, if we if we like it, millions of other people are going to like it, too. And that's that's was his approach, you know. So yeah. just a reference, Ed, you know. Yeah. And you know what? I tell you what, after you finish the show over in Destin, Florida, I want to see you hit the road and maybe put it in a few other places. I would love to hear this and watch the show. I will come out if you find yourself at the Bigfoot Birthday Bash, November 4, 5, and 6, over in Natchez, Mississippi. What a crazy event. What a, a goofy event, but a fantastic event at the same time. It's kind of like a hurricaneado, right? All wrapped into one, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, well we appreciate that very much that'll be good stuff so listen guys we've got oh a handful of minutes left and pete first i want you to tell everybody how to follow you how to get into your your videos how to how to learn how to play guitar for real because guys like me i suck man i know it the whole world knows it how do i get better well, uh, and once again, I got to go back to YouTube. It's like there's a world of uh, so many. I mean, it's overwhelming. There's a lot of lessons on there, but I've got a lesson playlist on my channel. So maybe I can help out, you know, with some of those. Um, my YouTube is youtube.com slash Pete Thorne, P E T E T H O R N. And Facebook's another good place to find me. I'm Guitar Nerd on Facebook, facebook.com slash Guitar Nerd. And uh, I'm also in, on Instagram as Pete Thorne Guitarist. So you can find me there as well. You know, Mitch, he has the ideal television and radio voice on top of it, on top of all of that stuff. <laughs> I know. Dangerous man. I know. He's very <laughs> dangerous indeed. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So, Mitch, uh, I want everyone to know how to follow you and everything you're doing. And, you know, take a quick minute and talk about your solo work as well. I want everyone to know more about that because, you know, on commercial break, we just played one of your tracks. I mean, it, it's, it's really good. We played one of your videos and it was absolutely phenomenal. 
Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So you can find me um, on Facebook. I am Mitch Malloy Music at Mitch Malloy Music. Um, on uh, Instagram, I'm Malloy Mitch, like backwards. That's a little um, trick now. A little yeah. Trick. Yeah. Con confusing. Uh, YouTube, I'm just Mitch Malloy, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, MitchMalloy.com is my website. You can see everything there. In fact, you can buy tickets for the show at MitchMalloy.com. At MitchMalloy.com. Yeah. That's good stuff. You know, it's not very often that we bring rock stars onto the sports circus, but when we do, it's usually purposeful too. It's not just because, hey, these guys make great music. No, it's because number one, they're good people. They're good humans because we will not have people that are arrogant, idiot, jerk offs, whatever. We don't do that one. Not on this show. And frankly, for those that just want to fill with names, whatever, so be it. They can do that. While everyone's zigging, we're zagging. That's what we do on the show. So we bring a superstar guitar player that not only plays, but man, this guy knows his stuff. Look at the 61 pages of videos. Mind you, there are, I don't know, 10 plus videos, whatever the hell it is, per page for hours at a time. So this is a bona fide authority on guitars. And by the way, Pete, I think you forgot to tell people that you test equipment and you give the thumbs up or the thumbs down for equipment. Take 30 seconds to talk about that real quick. Yeah, that became a big part of what I do. Um, and the format is a company, maybe Roland or maybe a small pedal manufacturer in Greece or something. It could be a big company, it could be a small company. They'll send me something. If I can get a good sound out of it, I'll make a video. And what I try and do is write a song around the gear. So let's say it's a fuzz pedal for guitar. It makes you know, a cool distortion sound. I'll, uh, I'll write a song using it. That's great stuff. So, uh, so folks, cool song, yeah. uh, right. A superstar guitar player, but a student of guitar. And here's Mitch touring the world. This guy's going everywhere, bouncing from every corner of the United States, singing on two hours rest, sometimes no rest and belting it out and really bringing it every show. Unbelievable. All right. Final words, Mitch, take 10 seconds. Give everybody a sign off. Okay, so we're Pete and I are doing this Van Halen Experience show October 9th and Maddie at Maddie Kelly Arts Foundation in Destin, Florida, October 9th. Get tickets, MitchMalloy.com. Come see us. All right, Pete, final words, 10 seconds. Hey, I just want to say thanks so much for having us. This was a lot of fun. So I really appreciate it. Thanks for what you do. Yes, sir. Appreciate that. And I, I appreciate both of you two. And thanks for joining us, everybody, here on the Sports Circus. I'm your ringmaster, Sal. We'll see you next time on your favorite station. Until then, so long, everyone. I'm your ringmaster, Sal, of the Sports Circus, a primetime, nationally syndicated television, radio, sports, and entertainment show. The Sports Circus covers topics others are too scared to talk about. There's no other primetime show like it on here that'll punch you in the face and you'll beg for more. Join me, Hall of Famers, World Champions, and All-Star Celebrity Guests for Chaos and Controversy here on Lipson and all podcast platforms, plus thesportscircus.com. Remember, folks, it's a circus and we prove it every day. Are you a small business owner or pursuing the dream of starting your own company? Do you know where to start or how to grow that existing business? The American Business Trust Company has the answers you need. The American Business Trust Company can help you with startup capital, business strategy, sales and marketing, and establishing your company with a physical location or on the internet. You decide. You bring the idea. The American Business Trust Company can help with the rest. For a free evaluation, you may visit them online at abtrustco.com. That's A-B-T-R-U-S-T-C-O.com. Or call them at 657-600-1876. That's the American Business Trust Company, 657-600-1876. Call them today. They can help your business right away.